I guess I should just say what I am going to be talking about today and that is I dropped out of high school when I was 17 years old and I did so in order to pursue my ballet career. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Goldie and this is the Lazy Ballerina Club. If you are new to this channel and you've never seen my face before, first of all, hi, I'm so glad you're here. But second of all, I am a professional ballet dancer. I have danced my whole entire life. And on this channel, I typically talk about ballet, my tips and tricks, my own personal experience as a ballet dancer. Recently on my channel, I did a two-part series with some of my sweet friends, Hannah Keen and Whitney Hewell, where we talked about their experience going to college as a professional ballet dancer. Again, if you haven't watched those videos, make sure you watch those videos after this one. But since having those conversations and starting the conversation about school, and ballet obviously gave me a chance to reflect on my own experience when it comes to school and ballet you might want to grab a snack because it might be a long video today before i go into all of this info i guess we should start from the beginning and go from there i vividly remember my mom practically pulling me out of my bed every single morning to get in the car to go to school i just did not want to go i never wanted to go and that really never changed throughout my entire life i was always social i never really had any difficulties making friends or fitting in that was never an issue if anything i was a little too social and I was a little too popular and to be honest, all of my focus went into the social aspect. Just a brief overview of my school experience might give you an idea of how difficult that was for me. I went to elementary school, preschool to third grade, and then I transferred to another school from fourth grade to fifth grade. I transferred to a middle school from sixth grade to seventh grade. I was really struggling at that middle school. So for eighth grade, I transferred to one of those schools that people would go to if they had other obligations outside of school. So after eighth grade, it was time for high school. And again, going back to me being the social butterfly I've always been, I desperately wanted that normal high school experience and I begged and begged and begged my parents to let me go to a normal high school. So in ninth grade, I transferred to a Catholic high school. By that Thanksgiving break, sophomore year of high school, I begged my parents to take me out of school and completely go to online school. Attempt to finish out my high school experience online so I could focus more on my ballet career and all of that. I know that is a lot of information, but I think that is like the best way to get the best idea of how challenging my school years were for me. And I'm already getting emotional and I am not going to be one of those YouTubers that <laughs> just cry through a whole video. Now that you have all of that information, let's go back to the details. I always felt like I wasn't smart enough or I just didn't have the tools to be successful in school that everyone else in the class understood the material and I was just the one struggling quietly and since I was the popular girl I never wanted other people to see that I was really struggling but it wasn't until I went into high school where it was too much for me to handle. Just to remind you, this entire time, I was running to ballet class right after school every single day. Not only was I struggling in school and struggling to get my work done and struggling to understand the information, I was also changing clothes in the car into my ballet clothes and then I was at the ballet studio from 4 p.m. all the way till like 9 p.m. every single night. My ballet schedule was always pretty intense from a very young age and obviously as I got older, 
the ballet classes got more intense and obviously the school got more intense as well. Get to my freshman year of high school. Also, I'm a sweet little Jewish girl going to a Catholic high school, which is just ironic and funny. But all I want to do is go to this high school and have those normal experiences, go to the football games, go to homecoming and go to prom and just be as normal as possible with all of the social stuff and with my ballet, I still had that same issue with my schoolwork, just feeling like I was the only one in the classroom struggling, practically like drowning, not understanding anything. My biggest fear and nightmare was the teacher calling my name and asking me to answer a problem or talk in front of the class and answer a question because I just felt like it was all like in a different language to me for some reason. I'm sure like if people know me in my real life watching this video right now, they are going to be shocked and like, so confused because I really have not opened up about this conversation to really anyone. This video is gonna be really long. I somehow survived my first year of high school and then it was time to start sophomore year in high school. When you are a sophomore in high school, you are about 15, 16. When you are 15 and 16 in ballet, that is kind of time where you either decide is this going to be a career of mine or is this kind of just going to be a hobby? I just felt like I was half-assing both worlds in my life. I was half-assing my schooling and I was half-assing my ballet. I was so exhausted from ballet that I would be like sleeping in class at school the next day and then I was so stressed and so exhausted from homework and school that I didn't really have the correct or proper energy to actually focus and work hard the way that I knew I wanted to and the way that I knew I needed to in my ballet classes in order to actually be successful as a ballet dancer. I feel like everything hit the fan around sophomore year in high school. I will remember this day for the rest of my life because it truly was the day where I I couldn't take it anymore and I was sitting in a, this computer class that I had to take and I felt like I was having an asthma attack and I don't have asthma. I couldn't breathe. I was panicking. I was sweating and mind you, I was just in this like little computer class. Nothing was happening, but it just felt like every single feeling that I was dealing with it came to the surface and it was just so overwhelming that i physically could not breathe in that moment and i remember going home decided that the best thing for me to do was to remove myself from a normal high school and to continue and to finish my high school online and be completely homeschooled and you might think that the story is over but we are just getting started unfortunately i want to focus on some of the positives in this video before i just like talk for like an hour and talk about all of the negatives about my schooling and my experience because there are some major positives when it comes to my decisions and my choices once i made that decision to do school completely online and really focus on my ballet and really try to make it into a career my ballet it was like a night and day experience. For the first time in my life, I felt like I had enough energy and enough focus to really work on this goal of becoming a professional ballet dancer. And I truly feel to this day, if I didn't do online schooling, I don't think I would have become a ballet dancer. There are some positives. So going back to school, once you are doing online school, there are a bunch of different ways to do it, but the program that I was a part of was really self-paced. That might be amazing for some people. Actually attempting to do school and finish school was nearly impossible for someone like me who struggled with getting their work done in a normal environment. I pretty much was right in the same exact boat where I was in that computer class having that anxiety attack, which was a terrible feeling to say the least. I don't know if it was a gradual process. The whole conversation of me doing school just got a little blurry and then a little more blurry. It got to a point where I just wasn't doing school at all anymore. Meanwhile, still trying to go to prom and homecoming even once I started homeschooling. So those were all my priorities. Outside looking in, it looked like I was getting my school work done. I was right on track. I was now a junior in high school and it was all online and everything was just rainbows and butterflies where 
the reality of the situation was I hadn't done school in months and months and months, which was kind of when the lying and avoidance started when it came to this conversation about school. I graduate from my home studio in California and at that point, I think I was 17, turning 18, I got my full year round scholarship to the Washington Ballet School. I was packing up my bags and I was moving across the country to kind of start my more professional training in hopes to actually become a professional ballet dancer. That was around the time where all of my peers were graduating from high school. Instead of being honest with my peers and myself and my life, I just kept the school part of my life private. And obviously I was posting about all my ballet successes and how excited I was to move away and start that journey. But I was really just not acknowledging the fact that I completely dropped out of high school at 17 and really had no plans to ever finish high school, which is a major secret to have in your life. Once I moved away from home, the idea of me graduating high school anytime soon just kind of kept drifting further and further away. I was getting deeper into my ballet career and further away from the priority and the responsibility of finishing school and graduating high school. Throughout my whole entire life, I always played it off as something that I never really cared about or I don't care that I didn't finish high school because look at all the successes I have in ballet or look, I have all of these friends or my life is great and happy. Obviously, not finishing and keeping the secret and this lie going for so many years was eating me up inside. There was no way around that feeling. I just kind of tried to push it down as much as possible. I say all of this and I give you all of that backstory to cut to where I am at today. It is 2021. I am 25 years old. I started this YouTube channel where I talk about ballet and I talk about the mental health side of ballet and I talk about my experience and my life lessons and I have started this conversation about school as you are pursuing your career in ballet and I just knew that this conversation was going to have to happen with any secret or any lie that you are holding on to in your life for years and years and years like the one that I have held on to for about 10 years at this point maybe a little shy of 10 years it eats you alive it feels terrible to keep something so deep and important inside for so many years. I am so happy to finish this video on a positive note and share that throughout this quarantine experience and throughout COVID and since moving to Boston, I have started my schooling back up again and I was able to graduate high school at 25 years old. I guess officially in 2021. It was literally the first week of 2021, which was very frustrating because I really wanted it to be the class of 2020, but I officially have graduated high school. I finished those courses that I never ended up doing back in 2013, and it is probably the best feeling that I've ever had in my life is by far the biggest accomplishment that I have ever experienced and I'm just so proud of myself and I'm so excited to share that with you guys in this video today. If you are watching and if you have struggled with school or you dropped out of school or just felt like it was impossible for you to finish or be successful, I am living proof that no matter how many years pass or no matter how many obstacles that you have to overcome, you are capable of really doing anything for years and years and years it felt like this impossible task that I was never going to be able to accomplish up until very recently where I just sat down and got it done. And it just feels like I could take over the world at this point. What are we doing? We are opening the most important paper that I have worked for. Why are we 
Kādi iet? Very, very proud of you. I've hid this for so many years and I've lied and said that I graduated in 2013 along with all of my friends and I kept up this like false story of my high school experience where now at 25 where I really did graduate and I really did accomplish all of those things on my own since I lied and hid it from the world I haven't been able to really celebrate it I haven't been able to share it with people. I haven't been able to talk about it with my extended family or my friends other than my one best friend that found out about it by accident a million years ago. And that is something that made me really, really sad because while it is definitely not normal to graduate high school at 25 years old in no way, shape or form, it is something to celebrate and something that I'm really proud that I was able to face head on and appreciate it and know the value behind it and just tackle that beast that has been in the back of my head since I was gonna say 2013 but really has been in the back of my head and for my entire life so i don't know if this is an inspirational video i don't know if this is a video where people are going to laugh at me after i post this um but i think this is more of a video for myself selfishly i think this is a video that i've needed to get out there whether one person watches a hundred people watch that really doesn't matter even if i never post this video i think it's something that i just had to sit down and talk about because never talked about it before if you follow me on instagram you know that i'm very passionate about my therapy journey i talk about my therapist on the regular and it's just a major thing that i've been working through with her and my amazing boyfriend that has supported me through everything along the way and has held my hand through every single course and days that I felt like I wasn't smart enough or wasn't able to finish he was right there with me doing it with me I mean I had to take like math again and I haven't taken math since I was like 15 years old and my sweet boyfriend sat down with me and did algebra right next to me which that is what's gonna make me emotional because i just love him so much and i really really appreciate him so much and i don't think i would have been able to do it without him but i gotta keep it together because this is not a good look on this channel you really can do anything no matter what is feeling like this huge monstrosity in your life or no matter how difficult your situation might feel in the moment or this thing that has been weighing on you for years and years and years you are capable you are able to do it you are able to sit down and face it head on and now i can confidently say that this chapter of my life that i've been so ashamed of for so many years is done and it's closed and instead of hiding it and keeping it to myself and pretending like it never happened like i really was planning on doing i am excited to celebrate it and i'm excited to share it with help from my boyfriend and my therapist <laughs> shout out laura i love you laura this isn't something to be ashamed of and it's something to really be proud of i am learning that there is nothing to be embarrassed about while this was something that i struggled with for years and years and years and kept private for years and years and years that I don't need to keep it private anymore and I have decided that 2021 is the year <laughs> that there are no secrets there is nothing that I'm hiding there is nothing to be embarrassed about because we are all struggling with something we are all struggling with an obstacle that feels so huge so I guess this is a lesson to I don't know what this lesson is. <laughs> I'm still learning all the lessons, but I just wanted to end it on a positive note. This is a very heavy conversation. This is a conversation that I never really was planning on having, but I'm so grateful that it led me to making this video today. I'm so grateful for all of the choices that I made. I'm grateful that I didn't finish high school at 17 and I had the space and 
I was able to decide to finish it on my terms and when it was important to me. And I truly feel, 100% feel like everything happened for a reason. And here I am at 25 years old, graduated high school and starting the next chapter of my life, whatever that may be. So wow that is a doozy of a video to wrap it up before my phone dies and to just like sum up everything that we've talked about today in this video i'm 25 years old i just graduated high school in january of 2021 and i am just about to start my college experience college classes like literally this week like i should be doing class today um, but I think I'm going to save that chunk of my life for a video for another day But please be kind to me in the comments. This was not easy and I don't think it will be easy for a while. I feel really really great about Sharing this with you guys and sharing this out in the world for myself and I think with that I am going to end it here because I feel like I can just go in circles for another hour and a half like I usually do. Like always, if you are not already, make sure you're subscribed down below, like this video, and if you are a new person, subscribe to this channel. I promise it will not be as heavy as this video every single week. I promise to do light and fun videos, but sometimes life gets a little dark and heavy and we need to talk about it so once again make sure you're subscribed down below like this video and i will see you guys later bye guys